This is Monday, the 1st of February's Thinking Reader lesson. And today, the text we're looking at is called The Dream Giver. Our learning intention today is to learn to gain a deeper understanding of a text. To do that, boys and girls, we have a couple of success criteria today. The first one that I'm going to look at is we need to be able to use our prior knowledge to help us to make predictions about a text. So before we start to watch today, let's think what do we already know about dreams? So I'd be willing to say that I think all of you guys will have had a dream of some kind so far in your life. So you have some personal experience of dreams, so that's prior knowledge. You may have watched a programme or a film where somebody was dreaming in it. You may have read a book or a story when a character had a dream. So let's think, what do we already know about dreams? I'm going to write down some of the things that I know already about dreams. They happen normally when we are asleep. For one. They're normally quite strange, I find. Are your dreams always nice, boys and girls? Sometimes they can be scary. Can you turn to your partner just now or somebody at home and tell them about what you already know about dreams or a dream that you've maybe had that you remember? Our next success criteria, boys and girls, is I can use metalinguistics to help me further understand a text. So let's try and think of some adjectives, words that we would use to describe dreams. So think about a dream that you've maybe had and a word you would use to describe it. Was it surreal? Was it otherworldly? Was it weird? Was it fictitious? And lastly, was it fabulous? Can you pause this video, boys and girls, and turn to the person at home if you have somebody, or just think to yourself, what words would you use to describe dreams? Now it's time for you to pause this video and begin task one and two. So it tells you clearly there in the task, you can also find these in the Teams file. It asks you, first of all, what type of text do you think this is? Do you think it is a fictional text, non-fiction, fantasy, horror, or a drama. So based on your prior knowledge and the title, what do you think this text, or what genre do you think this text might have? Then it asks you to write down what you already know about dreams in a little mind map. Use the word dream in a sentence. Use the word gave in a sentence. Write down two words that you could use to describe dreams and then, based on your prior knowledge, what do you predict will happen in this text? Our next success criteria, boys and girls, is I can use a visualiser to show my understanding of a text and I can answer different questions about the main ideas of a text. So it's time now, boys and girls, for you to follow the link in the PowerPoint to watch the short movie, The Dream Giver.
Okay, so you go ahead and you pause this video, you follow that link and you watch this clip very carefully. So whilst we've been watching, we should have been asking ourselves some questions and thinking about what it is we've just watched and what we've saw. So I have three questions for you today. A find it question. This is a literal question that you can find easily in the text. And that is, what is the creature doing to create dreams? And I'm going to give you a clue. If you go to the video at 1 minute and 19 seconds, it'll help you answer this. So let's have a little look. 1 minute and 19 seconds. Thinking, what is the dream giver doing to create dreams? Our next question, this is a prove it question, an inferential question. So that's why I've got a little detective next to this question, as we have to use our text clues and our prior knowledge to help us answer this. Did the dream giver intend to create a bad dream? How can you tell? If you go to 2 minutes and 17 seconds on the clip, it will give you a little hand. Let's look. So the question was, did he intend to make a bad dream and how do you know the answer? Look at his face. How did that happen? So if you could turn to somebody just now or think about it just yourself, do you think the dream giver intended to create a bad dream and how can you tell? What were the clues in the text that told us? Our final question is a talk about it or a valuative question, which means you share your view, your opinion on this. It's not a factual thing that I'm looking for, it's just what you think. Do you think the dream giver is a good or a bad character? Now you might say he is a good character and you have a reason for that or you may say he's a bad character and you have a reason for that but you must have a proper reason. I'm going to show you what happens at 4 minutes and 17 seconds and this helped me decide if I thought he was a good or a bad character. So it looked to me like he helped the boy in the dream. So you have to decide do you think the dream giver is a good or a bad character and you have to give your reason why? So it's task time boys and girls, so time for you to pause the video and the first thing you've got to do is to create a visualiser of the dream giver handing out the dreams. So remember I showed you that at minute, um, 1 minute and 19 seconds. So a visualiser with as much detail as possible and I would like you to label that visualiser like we talked about last week so that so I can see your understanding with this. Then you have the three questions that we've just discussed. And I'd like you to write your answers to those just now. Our last success criteria today, boys and girls, to show that we have a greater understanding of a text is can we summarise the main ideas or main events of a text? So here boys and girls, I have kind of summarised for you what happened in the text by selecting sort of key moments that happened. 
So we have the introduction where we are introduced to the dream giver and we see him for the first time. The second sort of key part that we've already discussed is him creating the dreams. The third part is he accidentally creates a kind of negative or a bad dream. And the fourth part is when he has to help to combat that bad dream. So we can use this just now, boys and girls, in our task now. So it asks us what the sort of main idea is and to give us three supporting details. Now we can look back at these um, clips that I've shown you here and we can use those to write our summary and identify our details. You can look back at last Friday's summary video as well if you would like. This will help you to create your summary. So I'd like it to be 50 words or less, just like on Friday, where you're going to pick out the key moments that happen in the text and write them in a couple of sentences in less than 50 words. Okay? So again, it's time for you to pause this video and go ahead and complete that task. And the last thing we've got to discuss today, boys and girls, is could you tell, it says your partner, or you could post it on your playground chat on your team's channel, or you could tell somebody at home one thing that you liked about this text. One thing that you liked about this text. Now that is your thinking reader for today, boys and girls. Um, thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing your work posted on Teams or on Class Dojo. Any questions that you have, please direct them to your class teacher and I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Thank you again.